in Kotlin, object creation is a very heavy process. It takes time and memory as well. So by default, whenever we create a class object, all the public and private properties will be initialized inside the class constructor itself. Like we created this object, so all of these variables and properties will be initialized. This initialization process will require some time and it will also take some memory to allocate all of these variables. This process can take some time and it can create some overhead. So to avoid this overhead in Kotlin we have something called lazy we can define a lazy variable with val keyword we can give the name of that variable then we need to use this y lazy and then inside these curly braces we can add the value for this name and this lazy initialization it is kind of an enhancement in object creation so if we are creating a lazy variable so whenever the object of this class is created at that time for this variable only reference will be created and the object for this variable will not be created hence it will not be initialized hence there will be no memory allocated for this variable at the time of object creation for this class and this will help us to quickly create the object of this class and there will be no overhead and to explain you with one example let's add one print statement so whenever this object will be created with this lazy initialization our print statement name object created will be printed and now in main function we are just creating one class object and then inside this class we have one variable but that variable is getting initialized with lazy so right now we don't see any print statement that's because we are creating this variable with lazy initialization so this variable will be initialized whenever we are going to use this variable at the first time so if we try to use this variable here inside a print statement we are trying to use this name variable now this variable will be initialized when we use this at the first time so we can see the print statement is also printed here and then value for this main variable is also printed. So we can create variables with lazy initialization to avoid using memory at the time of object creation for this class.